Writing on walls will always be the first art form and I think it will always be the last art form to outlive everything. The difference between graffiti and street art sort of lies in the public's view of it. I think graffiti is sort of really viewed as an act of vandalism, whereas street art is more celebrated and you know the public are more often uh, more inclined to sort of look at it as an actual piece of art where often they can be one and the same thing, just labelled differently. I think the illegality of graffiti is probably its most important factor. I mean, that's how people distinguish between street art and graffiti. And I think it's, it's important that it actually does remain illegal in one sense because, you know, it means that that art will come from the few that are, or the many that are driven to actually pursue that as an art form, whereas street art, you know, if you just want your art to be out there and viewed by the public, that's also great. But I think that graffiti being illegal really helps to, um, you know, maintain that the difference between those two. Any form of art is something that, you know, someone's taking the time to put a little bit of themselves, a little bit of their soul into. So, you know, whether or not you understand a form of art comes from sort of outside factors. I mean, whether or not you have an interest in it, but at the end of the day, if it's something that someone's poured their heart into, it's come from them, so I think you can have the same experience. Street art offers a lot to a public space. I mean, if you if you look at places such as in Canberra, we've got Braddon, and in Melbourne, there's many laneways filled with graffiti. And if you think, if you look, the public actually takes a real interest in it, and they actually really like it. Whether it's livening up a venue, or creating a mural for a restaurant, or something like that, or, I mean, purely covering the streets with graffiti because that's what that area is. You know, it offers a bit of soul to a place. The paradox of graffiti is the clash between, you know, your ego, you just want yourself to be known, you want your name to be out there, and then also the fact that if you are a graffiti artist, you need to remain anonymous. You can't really let that many people know your identity. So I guess that, that paradox means that street art and, and graffiti art will sort of always remain in this gray area of whether or not, you know, whether or not it should be celebrated but it is an art form and I mean writing on walls will always be the first art form and I think it will always be the last art form to outlive everything. I make art under the name Soul, S-O-L-E. I would describe my work as sort of just an outward expression of my, you know, what's, what interests me, my, everything that I interpret around me, my environment and everything. Uh, you know, everyone has their own way of expressing themselves. Some people express it through fashion, some people express it through dance or, you know, any, any number of ways. Um, I just sort of interpret my environment, my values and the way I think about things and try and put that into a piece. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs>